Here we are, Radio Days Europe in Amsterdam, and fresh off the stage, 50 years of BBC Radio 1, legends, past and present, Tony Blackburn and Scott Mills. How was it on stage being together? It was very good. It was, uh, it was nice, you know, to, to be together, and uh, I'm very proud the way Radio 1 has kept its audience and they're doing so well. You know, it's nice to see that. It's nice to see that us on Radio 2 are doing that a little bit better. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> Friend, friendly nothing rivalry. Wrong, nothing wrong with a bit of healthy competition. <laughs> what, what do you think the main difference was, looking back as we went through that session, what do you think the main difference was broadcasting back then to, to now, Scott? Well, I think that it, I think that these guys then, were, it was, they were the first, and they were on a, a journey of discovery. And probably, I don't know, like at the time, they were probably trying out things that worked and didn't work on the air. You know, they actually did the groundwork for us, really, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and has managed to make it, you know, to what we are today. And I say Red Radio 1 has a, a very much tougher job now than we had 50 years ago because uh, the, the kids now are getting their music from Spotify, they're getting their music from YouTube, so these guys have got to really you know, get them over and mm. listen to Radio 1 and they're doing a very successful job. Why? Well, so it's totally, it's totally different. What I think it is, has remained the same is the passion for new music that Radio 1 has always had and should always have and also the fact that the DJs are they're known, you know, that, they're, that, they sh that they've always been known. I mean, to back in the day when these guys were like, millions of people turned up in Newquay to see them, you know? Yeah. But the ethos is of that is still there, that actually the, the DJ is your friend and someone that you kind of know. And uh, Tony, you've been on the radio for many, many more years and many people have been alive. Do you still get as much excitement uh, when you open the fader and the red light comes on? I do, I do. I, lo I, lo I love it. And my wife always says to me, you're married to two people, me <laughs> and the radio. And she says, I know which one you'd give up. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll ever lose that either. I think. And Scott, do you think you'll be there in your mid-70s or, or uh, still broadcasting to the nation as Tony does? I would very much like to hope so because I mean, just speaking to Tony about the fact that he still gets that excited about it, as I do, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that will stay, and I'm sure it will. Well, listen, it was a pleasure having you here at Radio Days Europe. It was a great session, 50 years of Radio 1 with two living legends.